Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Lakers infatuated with Prime HC candidates Hall of Fame qualities. The Los Angeles Lakers began interviewing candidates for their head coaching vacancy, meeting with their rumored top three candidates. Each of James Borrego, Sam Castle, and J.J. Redick are under early consideration for the position, with Redick holding a slight lead. But new intel out of L.A. suggests that Redick may well be the clear-cut favorite to become the Lakers' eighth coach since Phil Jackson. The Lakers see similar traits in Redick as shown by former Lakers head coach Pat Riley. League-wide, Redick, a former player and media analyst, has garnered buzz for the position, the Athletics Jovan Buha and Shams Charania wrote on May 21. The Lakers are infatuated with Redick's potential, according to league sources, viewing him as a Pat Riley-like coaching prospect who could both help the franchise in the short term and lead it for years. Redick played 15 seasons in the NBA and has expressed a strong interest in coaching but has no experience. He also hosts a podcast with Lakers star LeBron James. But Charania reported on Run It Back on May 21 that James is staying out of the coaching search. Lakers brass is said to be high on LA Clippers coach Tyron Liu, though he is not officially available. Redick would be following a similar path as Riley, albeit with one notable step omitted. Redick's rapid ascension would be unconventional, but far from unprecedented, with Riley but one example of such a move working out. Riley spent nine years in the NBA as a player, winning a championship with the Lakers in 1972. He also spent time with the then San Diego Rockets and Phoenix Suns in his playing career. Riley rejoined the Lakers organization as an assistant in 1979 after two years as a broadcaster. He was named head coach in 1981, winning the NBA Finals in year one. Riley and company went on to win three more titles and three other finals appearances in his nine years at the helm. They made the postseason each year. After a four-year stint with the New York Knicks, 1991-92-1994-95, the Hall of Famer moved on to the Miami Heat. He began as their head coach from 1995-96 to 2007-2008, to to winning another championship in 2005-2006. to Riley has led Miami to two more titles and four more finals as team president since then. The report does not say the Lakers believe Redick is the second coming of Riley. But that is still lofty company to keep at the outset of one's career. As a more recent comparison, Golden State Warriors head coach Steve Kerr made a similar transition as Riley. His journey took him to the Suns' front office, before coaching after his careers as a player and broadcaster. Kerr, a five-time champ as a player, has won four titles and six finals as a head coach. Redick has a lot of momentum at this stage. But one former teammate of James is not sure the ex-Clipper is right for the job. Eudonis Haslam was James' championship teammate in Miami for four years. He doesn't think that Redick has the cash to command an NBA locker room. I'm gonna go ahead and say it, if it's JJ, it's gonna be a cynical locker room, Haslam said on NBA Today on May 14. You're gonna see guys that are gonna say, is Coach going to do a podcast after the game with LeBron? You're gonna have a cynical locker room of guys that are gonna side-eye everything JJ says, because they're gonna wonder is it JJ's message or LeBron's message. Another of James' ex-teammates, ESPN's Kendrick Perkins, is in on his colleague with a caveat. J.J. Redick knows the game of basketball from an XS and OS standpoint. But the one thing that I feel J.J. Redick is gonna have to do is lose that snobby Duke attitude, Perkins said on the show on May 20. Going into that locker room, it's one thing to have a high basketball IQ, and, to know your XS and OS, but it's another thing to make sure you gather the ears of that locker room. This day and age, these guys are a lot different than when I played in the early 2000s. It's a certain type of level of respect that you gotta give and you gotta have in that locker room. Reddick's reputation precedes him, as does his acumen. Neither predicts his coaching career.
Insider reveals Lakers' LeBron James, Perfect World has Kyrie Irving and more. As the Los Angeles Lakers search for a third star and new head coach, they have many tough decisions to make this offseason. According to Shams Charania on the Up and Adams show with Kay Adams, Charania said LeBron James' perfect world would be having Ty Lu as his coach and Kyrie Irving as his point guard. There's been things, obviously, that LeBron James has wanted. In a perfect, ideal world, Ty Lu would be his head coach, Kyrie Irving would be his point guard, and that would be the end of anything. There would be no coaching search, Charania said on May 21. James and Irving won the NBA championship together in the 2015-2016 season, and Lou was the coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers team that season. Lou and the Los Angeles Clippers haven't come to an agreement on a long-term agreement, but Irving signed a three-year, $120 million contract with the Dallas Mavericks last offseason. When Irving was set to hit free agency last summer, there was plenty of speculation about him joining James and the Los Angeles Lakers. According to Ramona Shelburne of ESPN, Irving had an interest in playing with James and the Lakers last offseason. Irving lives in Los Angeles in the offseason, and he had an open calendar after the Dallas Mavericks failed to make the playoffs, Shelburne wrote. But he was also about to become a free agent, and according to sources close to him, Irving had a strong interest in reuniting with James, the man he'd won an NBA championship with as Cavaliers back in 2016, either in Los Angeles or Dallas. Shelburne added that for nearly a year, the Lakers had internal discussions on pursuing Irving in a trade or free agency. For nearly a year, the Lakers had extended internal discussions about whether to pursue Irving via trade or free agency, sources said. They'd called the Brooklyn Nets to register interest in trading for him on several occasions since June 2022, when Irving and the Nets couldn't come to an agreement on a long-term extension. Instead, they didn't land a third star last offseason and were eliminated in the first round of the NBA playoffs with plenty of questions heading into the offseason. While it's unlikely that the Los Angeles Lakers would add both Irving and Lou in the upcoming offseason, crazier has happened in the NBA. However, the Dallas Mavericks are set to play in the Western Conference for the second time in three seasons. Irving has looked happy during his time with the Mavericks, playing next to superstar Luka Doncic. Lou could be a possibility due to not having a long-term extension, but that won't be an easy task either. For the Lakers, they'll have to hope that James' perfect world could come true if Irving and Lou show a desire to be in the Lakers organization, which is always a possibility. If not, the Lakers will have to figure out other ways to better their roster. Los Angeles Lakers linked to Golden State Warriors 12-time All-Star in potential blockbuster trade. The Los Angeles Lakers will be looking to make a splash this summer after yet another disappointing 2023-24 campaign. Apparently, this could come in the form of a blockbuster trade deal with the Golden State Warriors, one that is centered around 12-time All-Star Chris Paul. NBA insider Eric Pincus of Bleacher Report dropped a bombshell on Tuesday about the Lakers potentially making a move on Paul this summer, hat tip Legion Hoops on X, formerly Twitter. While the details of this potential swap remain unclear, it is worth noting that Paul is still under contract with the Warriors through 2025. He is entering the final season of his current deal, wherein the 39-year-old is set to pocket $30 million. CP3 will not be a free agent this summer, which means that the only way the Lakers will be able to acquire him is if they agree on some sort of trade deal with the Warriors. That is, unless Paul gets his contract bought out by Golden State. There's no denying that Chris Paul is no longer the superstar he once was and that at this point, he is already at the twilight of his career. However, as we've seen from him this past season with the Dubs, the 11-time All-NBA guard still has a lot of gas left in the tank. He won't be the savior for LeBron and the Lakers, but he could be the elite playmaker this team has been in dire need of. The fact that CP3 is close friends with James will likely play a factor in this potential swoop as well. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Chris Paul? Leave your opinion in the comments.